that's an interesting looking pattern of the grit so I'm on my way to the bus stop it's not very warm again uh, but it's all right so I have to do half a mile to get to 5k of distance so it's now like just under half past nine so I've had about 15 minutes worth and I should be able to do it I should be able to get to 5k for today and then after that don't know generally don't know I generally don't know <sighs> Well, I'm back in West Vale. Uh, I normally get further on, get off further on, but it's not far, is it? It's really not far to walk to the fair. So, honestly, I have to do 1.4 miles of walking and I've hit 10k for today. So, can I possibly do one? Uh, possibly. If I'm walking home and I do like half of that, and then I end up going out again for another dog walk tonight. Possibly. Possibly. And I'm pretty sure when I do get home, I'll have got to 10,000 steps as well. So that's a, a mission, that's a challenge done for today. Uh, and then, hopefully, get to 10k today. If not 10k, somewhere close. Uh, Say I had a good day today, yeah. So I'm in tomorrow at 7 o'clock till 2 o'clock. And I'm trying quite hard to get Friday off because uh, my cousin is having a leaving meal because he's moving to Australia. Yeah, like it's not a joke, it's actual fact. So I'm trying to get the shift off. But yeah, I mean, somebody said they would offer to do it. I've said how important it is, I'm never going to see him again as such, like but um, it would mean so much if I could go and to be told no to not because he said to me on my we on the website your, your shift has been rejected your shift, your shift request has been rejected I was like I gave him a week's notice a week's notice so if I can get it if it was like literally the day before or a couple of days before but it was a week ago like as soon as I found out shit about the shifts it was the day after I, put, I had advertised that shift so somebody did say they would do it which is very generous um, but I don't know like it's possible that I might have to work if I have to work Friday I have to but uh, I'd love to go to that meal to see my cousin off for like one last time. Yeah, I'd like to. Oh yeah, I was gonna try across the road then, but I was like, no, not happening. So, I'm literally in West Vale now actually, I'm not really, it's because it's noisier now. I still school. Where I used to go. Nice, 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 nice. Are we gonna find a point across the road? No, still can't cross it because people are so much of a dick, they don't want you to cross it. <laughs> but uh, come six o'clock in the morning tomorrow when I set off, uh, it's gonna be dead. There's gonna be no traffic. I'm gonna be like, ah, la 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 la, on the roads, and yeah. If I can get that shift off, that'd be good. If I can't, then, yeah. Well, this morning, I'm doing a seven o'clock to two o'clock shift. <coughs> I did say yesterday, but <coughs> I like to vlog in the morning. Uh, quite annoyingly, I've got a stud in my shoe. Damn it. But, uh, what I can do, well, the thing is I want to get the bus anyway which is at quarter past six this morning so I want to really be on that first before I'm like changing my shoe so I'll deal with it you can't see me now because it is 
so dark. So it's 6.14, so the, the bus is going to be here in about one minute, one minute or so. And I'll be into Halifax for about half, six. It's running a bit late. It's here, I can see it. It's coming up. So I'm in Halifax now. Uh, it's 25 past 5, so I think I might actually go for like a 20 minute walk before I do start work. Just that I can do like roughly like half a mile to a mile then of distance. Also, when I do finish work at 2 o'clock, uh, I'm going to walk down to Siddle, get a lift home. So I might be able to do 5k today. Not sure about 10k, but pretty sure 5k. So I finished work and I'm going to Siddle now to get a lift. Also, it's been quite difficult to film because it's been ferociously windy. Uh, it's been very noisy and it's quite cold as well. I'm a bit tired from walking. Well, not walking, but working. Walking and working. Uh, what else? Michael set a reunion page up for his Brooksbank lot. Class 2006 to 2011. 2011. So, that was seven years ago. So, I was 15. Damn. Damn. That's strange to think about. I'm panting because I'm out of breath. <laughs> so I was 15 when I left Brookie. Well, actually, no, because... No, 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 no. Because I did sixth form as well. So I did it from 2012 to 2014. Like 2011, 2012. So I did sixth form as well. <sighs> and then went straight to uni. Freaking hell, things are strange to think about. I'm going to write a post to start off the page, so I'll probably get something going. I'm not going to like, as soon as I've wrote something down, post it, I'm going to think about it, and then look into it. Then once it's alright, post it, and invite people that are my friend on Facebook, like added as a friend that did go to Brooks Bank in my class of 2006-2011 and Adam and then go down memory lane that's probably something I'm going to add to the post as well about memory lane <sighs> God I'm out of breath <coughs> God damn it this is all one hill going all the way up. God damn it. Right, I'm gonna stop vlogging. My arm's getting achy and I just wanna concentrate on walking up. Damn. What a day. What a bloody day. So it's just gone past half two um, and I'm not far off anyway. I've done one and a half miles. I was thinking what I've done today. So I did like, I'm pretty sure I've done a 5k today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've done a 5k. So when I get to where I'm staying for like about five, 10 minutes, so sorry, uh, then I'll look up my mileage and then the next time I do vlog I can say I've done X amount of mileage and then say like how much I've got left to do to reach a 10k because tomorrow I should be able to do quite a lot of walking because I, do, I can do like one walk in the morning, one dog walk in the morning then one in the afternoon and 
as things are looking. I'd only be doing a 511, but I think someone's gonna do it for me because my cousin's leaving for Australia and I better just stay here because going down that with them ways is just gonna completely go like that. So it looks like I'm gonna be off tomorrow. So I'm literally headed for the sun now, so my eyes are going to be shut making this video, this bit, because I can't see a damn thing. There's nobody on the, the canal. After I've got my, my right eye open, I've got my one of my eyes open, one of them shut. I can't see at all. I really can't. But distance mileage wise, I, like getting to Siddle, and having a little 10 minute rest. I'd done 3.3 miles of walking and so the result is to do 2.9 miles of walking and I'm walking the dogs home from Siddle back home. Bloody hell I can't see. Like, I actually, I really cannot see. I can see looking that way now. I can't look, I can't look the other way. Without film, without filming, I can't do it. It's so, like that sun is straight out. Oh, freaking hell! Even with my eyes closed, it's still blinding. Yeah. So 2.9 miles of walking to go. So walking home, probably get to like one and a half to two miles, and then taking them out again tonight will be like another mile. So I should be able to hit that 10k for today. I just need I need to I need to look the other way because I need to stop recording. I cannot see my freaking screen looking the other way because I'm blinded. So a little update. I can actually see where I'm going now. Because the sun is still up there, but there's trees blocking the light. So I can actually see somewhat better now. <laughs> I don't have to be like this. Oh well, I have to now. Uh, but there's some pretty thick trees that are gonna block the sunlight. So I can actually vlog. And now I can't vlog because there's someone walking along. <laughs> A member of staff was telling me that next week is half term for the school kids. So uh, I'm just gonna be busy next week. Blinded again.